In this part, I'm going to discuss the difference between financial reporting and tax reporting. Basically, their difference is caused by the different um, standards. As we know, for the financial reporting, we follow the U.S. GAAP to recognize revenue and expenses regarding income before tax or pre-tax income and uh, multiple the effect tax rate with income before tax, we get income tax expense. Finally, results in income, that income. Different from financial reporting, tax reporting recognize the revenue recognition is different. Also, it record deductions rather than expenses. The difference is taxable income, which multiple the effective tax rate we got tax owed. The tax owed is actually the tax payable or the cash payment to the IRS. The income tax expense is not actual the tax payable or cash payments to the government. So the difference basically is caused by the revenue the different revenue recognition different between expenses and deductions. In summary, all of these differences can be classified into two permanent difference and temporary difference. Okay, so the permanent difference is basically because some revenue and expenses recorded in that income statement but uh, will never be recorded in the tax reporting. Okay, for example, interest income from municipal bond or uh, some executive compensation, certain entertainment expenses, political lobbying expenses, etc. So that's caused the difference and this difference will not be reversed in the future. So we call it permanent difference. The temporary difference is uh, difference in timing of revenue and expense recognition. Okay, so, if there is any difference between financial reporting and tax reporting, and it is temporary because it is going to re reverse in the future. I use an example in the book to show you the difference between permanent difference and temporary difference. So, in this example, we, we have three columns. Each represent uh, the first one represents financial reporting, the second is tax reporting, the last one is cash flow, and uh, we report the two years information. And uh, assume all the sales are cash sales, so financial accounting, tax reports, cash flows, they are all the same. And the other expenses is all the same. We just focus on some differences here. Okay. The first is interest on municipal bonds. $25, that's the revenue, interest revenue earned from municipal bonds. is recognized in the financial reporting. But this one we will not consider as revenue because it is uh, tax exempt. And also it is considered cash inflows. So, this is the difference. We call it permanent difference because this difference will not be reversed in the future. The next is a depreciation expense warranty expenses. They actually are temporary difference. For example, the depreciation is 60, 60 for the first two years, total 120. Okay, actually this is based on information of the row above 120. Okay, when the company purchased the assets, it is uh, investing activity, cash outflows recorded here, but it it does not affect both financial and tax reporting. <coughs> and uh, we assume the soft value of this asset is zero, and the financial reporting we apply linear uh, depreciation. So each year is 60 total 120. For tax reporting, 
he can use different methods of depreciation. So in the first year is 80, in the second year is 40, total again is still 120. See, from if we just for, uh, look the first year, there is a $20 difference. The book value, depreciation expense of book value is less than the depreciation deduction in the tax report. But this effect is reversed, right? If the next year, depreciation expense in the financial reporting 60 is greater than the depreciation deductions in the tax reporting. The difference is also 20. So this temporary difference reversed just in two years. The next warranty expense again is also the same. But uh, it is now totally reversed in two years. For example, the first two years, right, the first year, the warranty expense, financial reporting is greater, difference six. Next year, the tax reporting is greater, the difference two. So there is still $4 difference. Where it is? Why we call it temporary difference? Actually, the $4 difference will be reversed in the future, maybe in third year and the fourth year. So sooner or later, this effect will be reversed. So we call it temporary difference. So that's the main reason in this example cause difference between income before tax and taxable inf income. And finally, the difference between tax expense and the tax payable.